So in today's video, we are going to be learning how to get the DSAL of a grouped data and uh, to be specific, it's about a grouped data based on class. So we have our question given to us that says uh, we have a frequency distribution that defines a data set and uh, we are supposed to find the eighth DSAL. So uh, we have a table underneath the question and uh, we have the variable which uh, is denoted with X and we have the frequency. Now this is our data set uh, in the grouped manner and uh, we've actually grouped this data set based on class uh, because uh, the values 10 to 15, 16 to 21, 22 to 27 down to 40 to 45 are all known as class and uh, in each of those classes uh, we have the upper class limit and then we have the lower class limit so we have a 10 as the lower class limit we have the 15 as the upper class limit so the question says we should find the eight decile so the decile formula for our data set when grouped based on class is actually given to us as we have a dn which represents the end decile the nth decile rather we have a lcb we have a subscript dn we have plus we have a open the bracket we have n summation f divided by 10 minus c f b uh, we have d n divided by f n close the bracket uh, times c so where the d n represents the end is how uh, the l c b subscript d n represents the lower class boundary before the uh, specified disal uh, and then we have the cfb d n represents the cumulative frequency before the uh, specified disal uh, that is the nth decile and fn represents the frequency at the nth decile and c represents the class interval so that simply implies that uh, the formula for the eighth decile which is a d8 is going to be equals to l c b then we have subscripts d8 plus we open the bracket uh, we are going to be having 8 summation f divided by 10 minus c f b uh, we have a d8 divided by f uh, d8 excuse me this should be uh, f d n okay then we close the brackets then we have times class interval so the lcb d8 is uh, the lower class boundary before the eighth the cell uh, the cfb d8 is the cumulative frequency before the eighth the cell the fd8 is actually the frequency at the eighth the cell and c is the class interval so from the formula, we can see that we are going to be needing the lower class boundaries and we are also going to be needing uh, the cumulative frequencies. So I'm going to be taking this formula. I'm going to take it somewhere right here so that we can have a space to uh, reconstruct our frequency. So the first step is to actually reconstruct the frequency distribution given to us in the question. And uh, on the course of reconstructing this table, we have to uh, add some new details and uh, specifically the lower class boundaries and the cumulative frequency. So I'm quickly going to rush through sketching the frequency table. So the next is for us to have the class boundary, which I'm going to write somewhere here. And we have the cumulative frequency. So basically what the class boundary simply tells us is that we're going to be subtracting 0.5 from the lower class limits and add the 0.5 to the upper class limits. So that means that for the first class, which is a 10 to 15, uh, 10 minus 0.5, that gives us 9.5 to uh, 15 plus 0.5 that gives us 15.5 and uh, for the next class uh, 16 minus 0.5 that gives us 15.5 and uh, 21 plus 0.5 that gives us 21.5 and we do the rest for the remaining So for the cumulative frequency, it's simply the summation of frequency. So the frequency at the class 10 to 15 is actually equals to 8. So we are going to be keeping that. So repeat 8. And the next uh, class is uh, 16 to 21. The frequency at uh, 16 to 21 is 17. So that's going to be 8 plus 17. And that gives us 25. So the next cumulative frequency is going to be based on uh, 8 plus 17 plus 7. And that is going to give us 32. So the next is going to be 8 plus 17 plus 7 plus 5 and that is going to give us 37 and the next is going to be 46 
and the last is going to be 8 plus 17 plus 7 plus 5 plus 9 plus 4 and uh, when we do the math we have our answer to be equals to 50. So now that we have uh, all the details that we need, it's time for us to slot all of this into the formula. I might have to take this a bit upwards, exactly. Alright, so uh, the first details we need is to uh, locate the 8th decile. So the formula for the 8th decile is going to be equal to, uh, we can just write that here. So that is uh, 8 summation f divided by 10. So that's going to be 8 times. Summation F is actually the sum of the frequency and that is going to be equal to 50 divided by 10. Uh, so when we do the math, it's going to give us 40. So that means that uh, the 8th decile is actually located in the 40th position of the data set. All we have to do is to come to the frequency uh, distribution and locate the 40th position data. So 8 plus 17 is 25, 25 plus 7 that is 32, 32 plus 5 that is 37, 37 plus 9 that is 46. So uh, if 46 ends here, so that means that the, if 46 ends here rather, so that means that the 40th position data is definitely going to be right here. So we can just take that so the next step is for us to get lcbd8 and that is the lower class boundary at the 8th decile so uh lcbd8 is going to be equal to so the lower class boundary at the 8th decile is going to be equal to 33.5 so the next is that the frequency at the 8th decile that is a uh, f d8 so the frequency at the 8th decile is going to be equal to 9 and the class interval is simply the width of the class that is how wide our class is and that is the difference between the upper class limit and the lower class limit so uh 15 minus 10 21 minus 16 27 minus 22 gives us the same value of 5 and uh the last detail we need is the cfbd8 which is the cumulative frequency before the eighth decile so the cumulative frequency uh let's take that down a bit all right so the cumulative frequency at the eighth decile is 46 so the cumulative frequency before the eighth decile is definitely going to be equals to uh 37 so we have this to be cfb d8 to be equals to 37 so we can now substitute all of these details into our formula for us to be able to get the value of the 8th decile so let's do that so the 8th decile which is a d8 is actually going to be equals to uh the lower class boundary is going to be equals to 33.5 plus so uh summation f uh, excuse me 8 times summation f divided by 10 that's 40 uh, minus the cumulative frequency before the eighth decile that is equals to 37 divided by the frequency at the eighth decile is nine then we have this to be times three uh, times, times five rather so the eighth decile is actually going to be equals to 33.5 plus so we have this to be three divided by nine times five so we have the eighth decile to be equals to 33.5 plus uh, we have this to be 1 over 3 times 5 and uh, the 8th decile is going to be equal to 33.5 plus 5 over 3 we keep that in a bracket so d8 is actually going to be equal to 33.5 so we are going to be using our calculator to get the value of uh, 5 divided by 3 and that is a uh, plus 1.67 and uh, d8 is actually equals to 35.17 so to two decimal place the value of our eighth decile is actually equals to 35.17 if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you can subscribe and turn on your notifications to get notified when i release a new video we'll see you in the next one thanks for staying to the end of the course bye for now